Hi everyone, it's still August 2nd. I want to start this video by thanking every one of you for your comments left under the video that I posted earlier. The support um, was, well, felt and it picked me up. So thank you very, very much for that. And thank you to those subscribers who linked below to articles and videos, especially to the subscriber who linked below to this article in our New York Post. And it was posted July 31, 2019, talking lasers that beam messages into our ears in the works it's in the works guys it's in the works the technology could be ready for battle in as few as five years wow the technology is already ready and it is being used laser induced plasma formations. First, they fire a powerful laser that creates a ball of plasma. Then, a second laser works to oscillate the plasma, which then creates sound waves. Laser grams will soon be able to beam hundreds of miles away, making it possible to send orders down from an aircraft or caution trespassers against entering military bases and researchers at MIT are developing a laser for public use that works by causing water molecules in the air to vibrate producing sound. A beam would be sent close to a particular person's ear sending a message that would be imperceptible to others nearby. Huh. Targeted individual? Did that come to mind? I hope so. You know, it, these mainstream media journalists, they're, they're uh, perhaps they're still in training. All right. They could also be used as a continuous flashbang grenade, which produce bursts of blinding light and deafening sound. Ah, uh, they won't kill you. They'll just make you miserable. Uh, Non-lethal weapons. It's a misnomer because all they have to do is change the frequency and the power and voila, they kill you. So, very interesting. It has a fabulous video right here. Let's watch this video and what you will be viewing is 5G. This is 5G and this is the purpose of 5G technology. No, they are not rolling out 5G because they so want you to be happy and they want you to be able to download videos faster? I, I talk about naive. Well, I have posted many videos on 5G. This is the grid that they will lock you in. 5G cells emit millimeter waves and the millimeter wave that was the spectrum that our military used and now our military is well bringing it to your neighborhood why so you can have fast downloads no so they can target you with millimeter waves should you get out of line. 
Pentagon scientists have finished testing on an early weapon that can make laser plasma balls talk. It's called a... Did you hear that? Stop, or we will be forced to fire upon you. Okay, let's go on. The laser-induced plasma effect is made by the joint, not only the weapons directorate. So what they've done is basically created a laser that can shoot out to a certain distance, and they can pipe in sound, sound waves through it, and actually make human voice sounds and commands. Now where this becomes useful is around an area we want to keep a perimeter secure. So essentially you can shoot out this laser, you can then talk to the, the people on the edge of the perimeter rather than sending troops out there and tell them to get away or you're going to shoot or get away or they're going to use other means to deter them. And that same laser can be used to actually target the individual and, uh, and, and create heat through pinpricks, like microscopic pinpricks in their skin, even beneath clothing. It's extremely uncomfortable and people move out of the way almost immediately. At the same time, the exact same laser is also being used as kind of a, 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 a never-ending flashbang grenade. It basically, with a, with a power source, it can constantly create audible effects to, to deter and confuse and disorient people, just like a flashbang grenade that you would have in your kit, but would only be able to flash once, maybe twice, depending on the design. Um, now, it's still a few years away. They just finished testing to get the audio... Bull shit. Sorry for my language, but you know what? Uh, it, the, our military uses this. That's why I've been saying uh, this this show that they put on for border security. They could be using the 5G millimeter wave to create a perimeter. Oh, it's invisible. But should anybody go through that invisible perimeter, they will run away towards Mexico, not the United States. So everything is a show. It's not years away. They were using the millimeter wave in Iraq to create perimeters. All right, oh man, the invisible fence, the 5G lockdown. And this is what it is. So when people are really happy about, happy about 5G being rolled out and can't wait, they have no idea what is being set up. None. And of course, you know, the New York Post has to start with, hold on to your tinfoil hats, because there's certainly a conspiracy theory a brewing here. I am so done with people who, my God, this country has radically changed already. The police state, the militarization of our police, the surveillance that has, uh, now we're surveilled 24-7. It's already here. It's not coming. So why shouldn't people... Uh, look into what is taking place, especially when you have mainstream media reporting things like Pentagon testing mass surveillance balloons across the United States. Why? Uh, this is in violation of posse comitatus. Oh, that's right. Oh, that was yesterday, Carol. Forget about all of that stuff because it's gone. The high-altitude balloons promise a cheap monitoring platform that could follow multiple cars and boats for extended periods. So, yeah, 250 miles uh, starting from rural South Dakota, uh, spanning portions of Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Missouri, concluding in central Illinois. Balloons, persistent surveillance to locate and deter narcotic trafficking and homeland security threats in Iowa and Missouri and Wisconsin and Minnesota and South Dakota and Illinois. And it's a test. You know, 
all of this under Trump? Is this not a violation of the Constitution? Yeah, I know it's gone. A lot of you know it's gone. But, hey, Trump, make America great again? Bring back that Constitution? Yeah, give us the privacy? Uh, our Fourth Amendment rights? All right. Well, this is... We, <laughs> if you think you don't live in a police state, oh, boy then you must have one hell of a brain that allows for delusion to just keep rolling on in to make you feel comfortable. Our country is not what it was. It's gone. Satellites are becoming real-time spies in the sky. The imaging technology could have serious privacy implications you think satellites have been spying on us now we have balloons spying on us this is your 5g technology walking down the street do something wrong suddenly you will hear stop or we will be forced to fire upon you if you don't stop They'll shoot the laser at you, that millimeter wave, and you will be brought to a stop. Well, it's not only, it's not only that. Non-lethal weapons program, U.S. Department of Defense. Check it out. I have. Just reading through a few of our fabulous new technology. Why not send a drone with a stun gun after a person with unknown armament? You do know that we have drones already flying around the country, right? Well, what is going to manifest in whatever particular mega region you will be living in and that mega region, that's for those in the know regarding Agenda 2030. Yes, our country is being physically reshaped into mega regions. So as you are living in your mega region, don't think that you can escape that region because there will be an invisible perimeter. That 5G technology but you'll be happy because that 5g technology well your refrigerator will be able to talk to your stove your stove will be able to talk to you and give you recipes you will be able to download those videos really fast but should you do something as you're walking down the street that is not quite right you will get targeted by a drone. And you'll see those drones. This... Uh, I can't remember the name of the show that was... Uh, I saw the first season. I don't even remember. I think it was on YouTube. The it was based in California, but they had drones flying around, keeping everybody in place. And should anybody step out of place, well, that drone stopped them. I can't believe that this is actually happening. I believe it and don't believe it. Non-lethal human effects. All right, so what else do we have? We have active denial technology. Okay. Uh, and they, they claim that this is future counter-personnel. Counter-personnel means counter you and me and everybody walking around. Active denial technology is 5G. And I it just came across this video. 
um, I'll link below to everything, but this video I got on this page, and well, they also have a radio frequency vehicle stopper, of course, you know, force protection, checkpoints, access control points, roadblocks, mounted patrols to stop vehicles. They have this technology already. They can bring your vehicle to a dead stop. How do you like? How do you like all of this? How do you like your new car that is so with all of its centers, uh, sensors and and um, computer chips and and Obama? Remember that program? It was I think his first year. It was a clunker, you know, turn in your clunker and get money for a new car. Do you think Obama cared that you were driving some old beat up car? Oh, the ostensible reason was, well, those old cars produce CO2, climate change. No, they wanted to get you out of those old cars because they can't control them. The newer cars, they can control. So, uh, radio frequency vehicle stopper, and here's the active denial technology multimedia, and here are, uh, here's the news. This is all military, by the way, but they also have videos uh, that are very interesting. So, let me just play this one. Here, directed energy produces invisible millimeter waves, 5G. And this is what active denial technology can do for the military. Oh, and police. Here we go. We're going to see how this works. Um, I'm very sorry. I don't understand why I can't get the volume. Uh, it's videos just... The volume is all over the place. Is anybody else noticing that? It's very annoying. But here, millimeter, 5G frequencies. All right. I'm going to try it. Okay, so, 100 miles away, hmm, they can target you with these lasers as those two uh, military men were targeted in their cars. A very dangerous world that is developing here and because we have so many who, oh, well, I'm too scared to look into this stuff because I'm going to be labeled a conspiracy theorist. Well, they won't even, you know, and they'll, they'll just laugh at you, call your names, and as our uh, high-tech police state continues to be built, the infrastructure of 5G is really... Um, so dark and dystopian it's but you can't get through to anybody that this is the point of 5g so i just want to bring your attention to a few more uh yeah trump supporters you don't know what you're supporting 
you're supporting a guy who's rolling out 5G and I mean, what do you do with the information that you get when you see the tyranny getting darker and darker and only cementing itself here in the good old U.S. of A., you know, the beacon, the beacon to the world for freedom. Uh, CIA's Intelligence Authorization Act would criminalize whistleblowers and reporters. And you can, um, I, I will link below to everything. If you want to find out the details, read. But it's not a surprise because we knew everything was going to get worse. But eventually, everybody's going to feel the sting of this. Everybody's going to feel the noose around their neck getting tighter and tighter and they can barely breathe. That's where we're going. Amazon and Google use secret police deals and freebies to spy on everyone. Police departments across the country are secretly working with Amazon to create mini neighborhood surveillance zones using ring doorbells enticing residents to join Amazon's neighbors network by giving out corporate freebies Amazon and law law enforcement ring doorbell cameras will be provided to the public I am sorry I just had a coughing fit for free, yes, free of charge. Amazon, Google, Apple, all of it, government. These are not private corporations. Government. Just, well, yes, it was revealed that at least 50 police departments have given away ring doorbells or used taxpayer dollars to purchase them police departments across the country from major cities like Houston to towns with fewer than 30,000 people have offered free or discounted ring doorbells to citizens sometimes using taxpayer funds to pay for Amazon's products and uh, at least 200 police departments have partnered with Amazon how is it that people can't see Amazon for what it is? Amazon said it will be working with Realogy, and I've posted on this, the nation's largest residential real estate brokerage company and owner of Century 21, Coldwell Banker, and other brands to create Turnkey, a service <clears throat> that will help prospective home buyers find real estate agents. To entice customers, Amazon will give buyers up to $5,000 in home services and smart home gear when they close. 5,000 free stuff line up. Real estate agents will be gone. Rheology, everybody will be calling Rheology, oh my God. Amazon's going to give me $5,000 worth of free smart home gadgets, surveillance devices. And you know how many people will be lining up? Talk about loving your servitude. Talk about not caring about your freedom. Google has a plan to put 100,000 spying home minis into paraplegics' homes for free. Now, oh, that's because Google loves and cares about paraplegics. All of it surveillance. Yes, Apple said that it would no longer spy on people having sex. Really? You believe that? Are you a child believing mommy and daddy? Because children believe mommy and daddy, even those who are traumatized 
every day. They've got to believe mommy and daddy because to a child, they're God. And, well, their survival counts on mommy and daddy. When we're adults, well, what has happened to the American people? Naive children who line up for their free devices that will entertain them, devices that they can play with. And all of this is mommy and daddy who are incredibly evil, who are giving you stuff to destroy you. Wow. <clears throat> so facial recognition. What's this? City halls using facial recognition to blacklist and ban residents. Yes. Well, go into your city hall or your uh, county clerk's office uh, and should you get angry at any of the clerks working there, you'll be banned. Show up for a town council meeting and get a little angry at your council members, you will be banned from that building. This is where facial recognition in City Hall is going. FBI wants tech to track social media for criminals and terrorists before they act. They are looking for a company to track social media, all posts, social media, the videos, the profiles, the usernames, everything that they can gather, collect, to give to the FBI on everyone. What is Trump doing about all of this? Nothing. You're watching a show the Democratic debates, the, the Trump tweets, the, it's all a show. And all of this is still going on, getting you sunk into, like quicksand. You're sinking into a grid that will control every aspect of your life, your free will will be gone. <sighs> Senate moves bill with up to 15,000 fives, fines for sharing memes online. That's our Senate. You share a meme, you know, from Google Images, 15,000 fine. Oh yeah, censorship continue, continues to roll on. Our freedoms continue to be taken away. Free speech, you see what's happening. Truth being ditched, but watch that show. Stay in that matrix. We're in trouble. We're in big trouble. And, yeah, here's your 5G purpose right here, this video. Please click on the link, share it. Talking lasers, endless flashbangs, Pentagon develops plasma tech. Well, we've seen the plasma on radar. That tech is already being used. On that note, have a great weekend.